Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back and I'm testing a new rocket launcher out, a pretty cool one actually this one today. Uh, it's called the Jalakorn, I don't know if I've pronounced that right. It's a, uh, an attempt at uh, a recreation of the Jalakorn from Destiny. Um, and yeah, it's made by Void Rose and it's a really good launcher. Very handy for the fact it's got tracking rounds. Um, it will uh, also do other things as well, but uh, you can see you don't actually have to be that accurate this thing it's quite high damage it will just straight on go for any enemy near it so if you miss the first time it will bounce around come back and eventually uh, get the enemy that you need to get hopefully uh, so yeah very interesting as always we'll start off this modded weapon guide though by showing you guys exactly where to get this so you can click on the link in the description which will take you straight there or you can navigate there yourself and have a look around if you'd like but uh, yeah you want to click on Borderlands 2 mods and then go down to Void Rose's section done quite a lot of uh, reviews from Void Rose so far uh, so this is another one to add to that this is the Jalahorn as you can see um, click on that and that will bring up the weapons information page also a gib code right there for you to put in if you haven't got the weapon that's needed click on the uh, raw tab right click save as and save into your borderlands 2 binaries folder remember what you've saved it as and then execute it once you come into the game on the console commands and that will change the weapon which is the pyrophobia you will need um, for that um, the pyrophobia will then be turned into the jalahorn I also recommend using the legendary javanalia class mod with this for the ammo regen or of course you can get a sham shield and uh, a Logan's gun to just keep replay replenishing rocket ammo so this is what it looks like there's a nice black and uh, like kind of pinky skin on it um, it says if there is beauty in destruction why not also in its delivery phasal crux uh, it has wolf pack and tracking rounds and it also causes solar damage apparently as well so uh, I'll explain more about that later on but uh, yeah, just a, uh, another example of the uh, the tracking rounds, and you can see that bolly mong right there. I'll fire to the left of it, and it locks in on him, and then goes towards him. Uh, that is what the tracking rounds do. You can also do this by firing above them, as you can see. Uh, you can use this for handy things like firing round corners and things like that. If you're in a bit of trouble, and you've got like a, a lunatic running towards you, and you've got low health, just run round a corner, and then just fire it at the ground and hopefully it will hit him. It doesn't always land perfectly, I have had quite a few shots where I actually uh, shoot this weapon and uh, the bullets miss the enemy but don't bounce back, they just go all weird and start going all sorts of places and never actually hit anyone. But I've also had a couple of clutch things with this tracking um, bullet where I've actually gone to shoot an enemy and it's missed them but then it's taken out another one. That happens quite a lot which is pretty handy as well. I do recommend bringing something like a chain lightning with you as well to strip enemy shields. Uh, obviously with this being a pyrophobia, it's only fire element. So uh, any uh, shielded enemies like that, just take out with the shields with either a shock weapon or a chain lightning is the easiest one really. Get them shields off because this will make it a lot easier to kill them. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, that is what it, well that's the basic principle of it let's run through the uh, the list of changes anyway so like i said this was made by void rose it brings the jalahorn from destiny into borderlands 2 the jalahorn replaces the pyrophobia um the wanderlust is basically super buffed with this as well and uh, like i said he provided a gib code for this mod so to be sure uh, to use it uh, this has really high damage but a low blast radius um, it has awesome tracking, it works best if fired at a 45 to 70 degree angle. Straight up breaks the accuracy as well. Um, he recommends that when testing you turn on the ammo regen or set the shot cost to minus 5 so the launcher doesn't lose uh, use all of your ammo. Like I said though, also the legendary Javanalia cross class mod made by Left Strafe will also do pretty well at regening ammo. That's what I'm using right now as you can see at the uh, the middle bottom of the screen. He also says right at the bottom uh, under notes currently the Wolfpack rounds do not split into grenades but they will uh, hopefully be fixed soon which has got something to do with how the Wanderlust doesn't technically ricochet or explode uh, so he can't set the behaviour 
to it. So uh, yeah, basically what this is about is the uh, Jalahorn's a weapon uh, from Destiny. And uh, it actually, um, there was a year one version of it and a year three version of it as well. And I don't play Destiny, so uh, obviously you guys um, who do will know more about this. But basically the Gal uh, Jalahorn can be upgraded with um, some perks. So you've got the Wolfpack rounds, which is uh, rounds fired from this weapon split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation. Uh, it's also got the solar damage as well, um, which can be caused from that. That's what this is planned to be recreated um, in this. But uh, yeah, it's got a it's tracking missiles, uh, things like that, wolf pack rounds. And Void Road has tried to recreate this in this game, and I think he's done a damn good job of it. Uh, I have watched a couple of videos on the Jalahorn, so I've seen what this uh, looks like. And it really is a damn good attempt at uh, recreating this in Borderlands under what uh, you can use, obviously, weapon-wise. So, uh, yeah, really, real good job. I love this weapon. It is a pretty powerful weapon, like you say, but it's not too OP. You know, it doesn't... It will one-shot trash mobs, but what launcher doesn't? It still does require you to earn your kills. Uh, if you want to make this a bit tougher for yourself, maybe not strip the shield to the enemies, you know, if you feel it is a bit too OP then uh, try and kill them without stripping the shields but uh, for those of you that want an easy-ish time then uh, make sure you uh, actually go ahead and use this strip the shields off and uh, take them out I'm also trying to stall slightly a little bit in this video right now uh, because uh, something pretty good happens <laughs> later on uh, about 30 seconds time actually see what I mean this is a really good example as well of how sometimes the uh, the shots just absolutely mess up and don't do anything it eventually hit him there uh, but I did fire about four or five times right then and the uh, right towards the enemy and they didn't track him very well at all that can happen sometimes but uh, yeah it's just one of those things you've got to plan accordingly also just a note take out ironclad lunatics with something like a North Fleet uh, or something corrosive because this thing can use all of your ammo just trying to kill one ironclad lunatic uh, anyway this is the moment I was on about as well I'm pretty much done with the guide right here but look what I've just found here there was actually a pearl drop now there is no reason for them to be a pearl weapon down there right now so that was just one hell of a lucky um, world drop from a normal enemy I can't believe I got a pearl stalker from probably a nomad or a lunatic or some kind of bandit anyway but I uh, just wanted to show you guys that as well that's pretty awesome uh, so yeah anyway that is the Jalahorn one I really hope that I've pronounced that right if not someone tell me how to pronounce it down in the comments below because well I'm probably making a fool out of myself right now uh, but yeah two let me know what you think of this thing down in the comments below and hopefully you guys really like it so uh, real good launcher really like playing with it thank you to Void Rose and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one